All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 42 of the Waterboy podcast. I am here alone today. Uh, Grant's bladder has shrunk to such an exponential, exponentially small size that uh, he has already left to pee. Um, I'm doing the intro to see how long that he takes today to, uh, to actually pee. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Uh, today's episode will be filled with a lot of improv, a lot of filler content, and one heck of a good time. Um, we did not prepare for this episode. We recorded the last episode yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Today, Tuesday's episode went live that was recorded yesterday. All right. So I'll be honest that I'm going to interrupt you that that piss that I just had. I didn't get as strong of a stream that I expected. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to go take a piss in like 30 minutes. Not going to lie. Gotta stay hydrated, man. Replenish those fluids. Uh, I, I, I'm just telling you now, I wouldn't be shocked if I had to go right, piss I'll in 30 my, minutes. I'll get, my, uh, I'll get my story time ready. Okay, yeah. Let me think. Uh, but what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Waterboy Podcast. I'm not sure if Everett did an intro already or not. I'm going to see. I did, but it, I'm sure it was crappy. I don't know. No, no, no. no. Leave it in and then okay. leave my intro in. And then we can leave it up to the viewers to decide who does the intro from here on out. But uh, what is going Look on, everybody? Me. Welcome back. Look at we me. We got another episode. Huh? I am the captain now. Uh, you're demanding a lot of respect over there, Everett. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh but welcome back to another episode of the Waterboy Podcast. Today it is episode number 42. Uh, today, me and Everett, uh, usually I always say we got a packed schedule. Today, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. We've got like very little things yeah, that. Uh, written oh. down. No, 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 no. Let, let me tell them though. And then they could compare intros, okay. see who announced it better. So I'm just going to be honest, straightforward. Usually I say we got a packed schedule today. But I'm going to be honest, we don't today. And I wouldn't be surprised if this episode was like 45 minutes long and it was a little bit shorter. Uh, if this episode, it, now I say that this might be a shorter episode, but I guarantee this might be one of our longest ones. Gonna go for That's just how it's going to work. Like, that, that's just how it's going to work. I think we're actually going to, I think we're going to end this episode off with like a deep space talk, Everett. Let's, let's talk so, space. So, so I don't know if anybody else. Let's debate if Pluto is a planet or not. Okay. You know, let's yeah, start easy I, I and then we'll know, go big. I don't know if this was. Is there life out there? I don't know if this is just something that Grant and I did with our friends whenever we had like sleepovers when we were kids, but literally before we would go to bed every night, whenever we slept over, we would just talk about space. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. So I, I feel like that's just a classic thing. You're like 10 years old. You're sitting there when you go to sleep, you're sitting there talking for like another two hours. And for us, it was always space. I don't know why. Time, it was space. Weird, weird group of kids that we were growing up. Still are, but pretty, pretty, pretty we're weird. We're actually yeah, definitely not normal. But uh, sitting there, always talking about space. That's on the mind. I got a lot of ideas. I got a lot of theories. All right, I got some strong opinions on space. Then we'll save we'll that for the no, end. No, no, we'll start the episode with that. Let's start it. Let's start with space. Okay, there is almost a. I am 99.99% positive we are not the only life out there. That is just such an arrogant, ignorant opinion to have, thinking that we are the only life to exist ever. So first things first, I just want to say, if you think currently at this moment, we are the only like advanced civilization, I can understand that opinion. But if you have the opinion that we are the only life advanced civilization or not to have lived or that's just ignorant or currently living i'm saying ever yeah no I, I i i agree with i just like everything that constructs human life in this planet is made up it's very common in the universe now real quick i just want to say it's actually a miracle how we are even alive right now when you consider like the specific degrees of temperature or, or how far away the planet needs to be from a star in orbit to even be in like a habitable habitable life zone 
when you consider that and then you have to consider like does it have water on the planet like we we breathe oxygen but not every i'm pretty sure not every animal uh, i mean trees i don't count trees on other planets as life i mean if you count that as life i don't count that i'm saying like i'm saying like something that has a brain and you would consider a creature that's what i consider life I would consider plant life I would consider that life, but like not on the same as animal. The only reason I say that is because they produce in order to have animal life or bacteria, whatever, because I would count a bacteria. Um, Something just hit my brain. Keep going with this thought. Finish up like, quick because I'm about to lose this. I got you. But but plant life is a recipe that creates the ability to have life for actual animals and stuff. So having that is allows you to probably have animals. Okay. So I'm not going to react to your opinion at all because I have a follow-up. So, Okay. Right when other when 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 like scientists say there are no examples we have not seen any evidence of life outside our planet they're talking like plants right like they haven't even seen like a tree is mm-hmm. what they're saying right okay so yeah. even then so i did not know that i thought it was like any type of like that's organism well i guess yeah trees trees are plant life like that's like one of the pillars. yeah but that's that that doesn't count and you you know that you, you know what I, you know what people I, act like if if someone found out there was a tree on mars no one would give a shit you imagine, know what i mean like no one would imagine, care the, that's what i mean this is the biggest ball sack in in the entire universe if if cnn or or fox or whoever goes nasa has found life out there could you imagine breaking that news though? It's 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 not. It's, oh my god, just, that would have to be the most retweeted finish. tweet Let's of all time. Finish. Breaking news: Let's NASA finish. has confirmed life. Let me finish. Just imagine the the ball sack of it though. If, if they go, could you imagine if like Woj leaked <laughs> that? <laughs> <laughs> like Shams comes in like breaking news: there is life on Venus. Like what the. Before, Ian Rappaport hits hits the Dodgers up 4 0. Trace just hit a three run bomb, but go on. Go on. Go on. This might it might actually be the biggest ball sack in the in the history of ball sack. Get into sports later. This is fun. If if a if a news outlet reports NASA has found life in space and you open the article and it says NASA has found one bush on an extraterrestrial planet. So like I'll be honest, like some people would be like, oh my God, but at the end of the day, you wouldn't care at all. This is what I, this is, this is my like full stance on like alien life, what people think. I think currently right now, I don't even know how to describe this, but I think of it in like the Star Wars galaxy sense. So let's say the Star Wars galaxy, like that range is where you could travel. That's their like galaxy. Yeah. So that's like one of like infinite numbers of those things. So I think of like us, let's say we are, we could be as advanced as humans can be. There's still like a, a, a limit that we will reach, but let's just say that maximum potential radius in that range for us, we might be the only advanced life in that radius yeah. right now while we're alive. And I'm, when I say right now, I mean, how long have humans been around? How long have like really smart human like Homo sapiens sapiens hasn't that been like cool. shorter like two hundred k? That's really it's, it's like short like I know like I know like the dumbass humans have been around for like millions of years or whatever. But I'm talking like legitimate like, humans yeah, that are like us. One hundred fifty two hundred thousand. I have no idea. I I'll be honest. I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't look that fucking hard in, in my world history classes, but. I, but. Yeah, the last time I had that it was in it was in- uh, U.S. history. My, my man, my man in high school drilled that shit into me. He got a five on the AP for my man. I repped him hard, but but other like world history, don't know anything. U.S. I, I guess that's kind of a classic American take, but we're not here to talk about history. We're back in a space, okay? I just think it's ignorant. I think it's just ignorant to assume to assume out of. So we're one galaxy. There's an infinite number of those. And to Look, say that we I are the only that. life is, it's just, holy Amen. shit, dude. Look, Come Look, on. Star Come Wars on. is set in a galaxy far, far away, which means, I mean, it's still a so galaxy. So I'll be honest. There's still a little piece of me that believes that's like yeah. is real. 
like something like that could be real. Like I really truly believe that. I'm gonna be a nerd for a second, but you know what I heard is like a theory about Star Wars. What? That the whole thing is like the story being told from R two D two, because he like lived through the sequence. So R two D two lived through the sequence of events of the entire like nine film. I guess R two D two. Two is one character never dies. Yeah. So Galaxy Far Far Away, long time ago. He was in the last three shitty ones, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, you like I don't remember. I don't I don't want to hear that slender. You like the last one. I liked so the first of the last three didn't really like. I was just like a hater. Second to last one, I think I've watched that movie five times. Watched it with (laughs) I remember coming out. We watched it. I watched that before that because that came out like 2018, December like 2018. Like that, yeah. And so like at that point, it like th- I liked that movie. Sue me, but I liked it. Last uh, movie, I did not. But okay, but but my point is like to assume we're the only life out of those infinite number of galaxies where there's so many planets in each don't, galaxy alone don't forget you know like we literally can't. like the solar system what is that what what is it what is the term for like just our planets like us rota- that's not a galaxy no yeah but that's like one of a million yeah, in a galaxy well, there's the andromeda, you know what i'm saying the andromeda yeah yeah, yeah. Like, oh wait i think we are a galaxy because the it's called the andromeda galaxy that's the other one and then the Milky Way, those are the, the two, but there are multiple different systems. Throughout. Oh, 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 I'm Milky oh, Way oh. <laughs> is not just our planet. Yeah. That is not the Milky Way. We are like a speck yes, in the Milky like Way. A, that's I mean, that's like hilarious. Planet, dude. Like, I mean, but there's other solar. No, systems. so that's what I'm saying. I, I didn't even really fathom that in my head, but like still now I'm even more confident in saying there is 1000% life out there. Forget, like we we can't it's just crazy to say there isn't we can't even see like half of the other not even like not even we can't see like 99.999 percent of space everything else like how would you know shit hasn't even gotten there you can't know you literally have no idea like (sighs) the only reasonable guess would to be assumed that there is life that's the only reasonable guess you can make which is the one that i'm making water boy analytics we provide the bang over here, not going to lie. I'm just saying, I, like, to, to not have that opinion, it's just like, what is what is your... Because re- to say we don't have evidence is not enough based on the, the size of space. Yeah, the Alex Jones over there. To say that we haven't seen aliens, that's not, that's not a good enough reason well, to say also, that there also, is... A, who's, who's also saying that... I haven't heard a good reason why. Maybe, maybe I could be turned. Who also is saying, like, I mean, you could say that we haven't seen aliens, but also you can't confirm that we haven't seen them because, I mean, there's always a possibility that, that some government, the U.S. government, someone has, has seen them. And also, I'm saying I am, I am not talking trees and plants. I'm talking, like, a civilization a that functional. can leave their planet with plants. That's what I mean by life. Like, there is 1,000%. And at least it, one, at least one other, I would bet there's thousands. Yeah. Maybe not right now, but of all time, yeah, like we've been on the, we've been alive for like a speck, you know, like I, I can't even understand the shit, but it's like the, what the hell, the big bang or whatever happened so long ago, you know, and it might've taken like a couple billion years to even get to a place where planets could like form and have life but still to say that there hasn't been like that's just crazy but shit i kind of just talked myself into thinking that maybe maybe we are the first which i don't think is but but now i can un, i can understand a take i just talked myself into a take but look because you- i like after the big bang that happened what like 3.7 4.2 billion how, yeah. what, what is it something like that a billion years ago yeah I think after the Big Bang, there was, so let's say 100 million years after the Big Bang, life can't form then. Uh-uh. Would you agree or no? So the solar system- because when, when the Big Bang happens, planets aren't just formed. Like, it's just a bunch of shit, and they have to form together. So, so like, 
So essentially the way that it works. Damn, also, bro, we're going deep. We're going deep. Thing, like we can't confirm or deny that that's how the entirety of the universe was made. No, that's a theory. So, that that is a theory. No universe. So state with that. But also for planets to be made, especially with having all the common materials that you need for life. So carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, all of that, right? That needs to develop on a specific planets that can also produce other forms of life. So water trees, all that. And on top of that, it takes thousands upon thousands of millions of years to actually build of the planet because it's more. No, yeah. Oh, like millions, millions, like millions, millions, millions. It's, it's, it's probably not even for another billion and a half years. After like that. I would say, so let's say that happens 4.2 billion. I, I think it's three, seven or four, two. Let's say it's four, two. I think it might take at least 2 billion years to even be able to have life. And when we consider how delicate it is, I can be like, okay, then after that, well, the way I can understand life- like maybe a billion years ago could have been the first time where it was possible. But here's the thing, the way that life starts. I can understand that. Outside of, outside of trees and plants and vegetation, even with- If we that, count that, then 1,000% we're not the that, only one, like, you know? For the earth, like I'm pretty but sure- I'm not counting that. I'm pretty sure the earth was basically just water and some dirt and bacteria, algae from, from the ocean. To be honest, even if we found like little tiny critters on another planet, that would fucking count. But also, if you find little tiny critters, that eventually means that you're going to get some big critters. Well, not necessarily, because they could be on early, early stages of evolution, and we can catch them at a point where they're young and just (laughs) snipe them. That's why I said- Got new meat, boys. So I said eventually- Okay, would vegans have a problem eating other- Eating meat from other planets? Would they have a problem? Sorry. Would they have an issue? I, I interrupted that. Restate it for a clip. Okay, okay. Let's say aliens exist and we find another planet where they're not like advanced species, but they have like a bunch of like chickens and like smaller animals like that running around. If that were the case, would vegans be upset if we killed those animals, creatures, whatever you want to call them and ate them? Would they be upset? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a debate that's definitely plausible. I feel like... Does morality only apply to Earthlings, or does it apply to uh, gal- galaxy like there's beings? There's two, ways, there's two ways that you go about it. One, you have vegans who have exclusively tried to be vegans for to protect like the Earth, to do their part, to, to help replenish the I'm not talking for health reason vegans. Okay. I'm talking morality vegans. Right, right. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, I'm not saying for their health. I'm saying for the Earth's health. If, if you're a vegan for health, like, shit, man, damn, what a sacrifice, okay. bro. It, it's not like... I'm they saying, don't saying, eat steak because they think it's healthy for them. Like, no, shit, this dog. Is, this is what That's I'm impressive. Saying, I'm saying there's two There's two ways it goes. I think we're like 30 minutes and we haven't even thought about yeah, sports yet. And I love this. Sports. I don't think we're gonna, but all um, right. <laughs> there's two ways it goes. There's two ways it goes, okay? One, you I have- get my roommate on. He might have some opinions. Same but go on. Keep going. Keep going. You should ask. Just a question. Him. Um, there's two ways it goes. You have the vegans who are like being vegans to like protect the earth's health, health, like, oh, we don't want to slaughter the cows. The cows are good for the earth, even though the, they're, they're not really, but, um, or like, we don't want to kill the chickens. Right. So you have those, those vegans. And I feel like that, if that's the case, they're probably fine because it's not hurting the earth. It's probably actually helping the earth to, to eat those things. Then you have the other vegans that are just doing it for morality and they're like, ah, oh, we don't want to harm anything. Like that's just against morals. And if that's the case, they wouldn't do it. So there'd be a vegan civil war. So that, that's what I'm saying though. But, but like my big question is, does being a vegan and the morality aspect of like, we shouldn't hurt, on our, we shouldn't hurt other animals. We can sustain our lives just eating plants. We don't need to eat animals. Even though eating plants is eating life, Everett, is it not? I mean, I mean that's the way that the the food chain works. I mean, but but technically, you got to eat life to live if you really think about it. Well, so here's my question: If I'm you about, really think about, about it, Everett, did I just did I just did I just make a connection? I'm, is that why life is so hard to create? Because in order for life to live, it has to eat life, Everett. Holy I'm, shit! I'm about to uh, 
to blow a vegan's mind right now. I might actually make them self-combust. If the whole point of being vegan is to help the planet and not kill life, wouldn't you be killing the planet and killing life by eating plants? That's what I'm saying. Eating plants is eating life. Like vegans, by definition, you're still eating life. Mookie. I just foiled the vegan argument. Like they're literally being vegan. It doesn't make sense because you're still eating life. Eating plants is eating life. Plants are alive. Plants have cells, cells, cells. They're made of organelles. They have that in them. So by eating plants, you're eating life. You're literally, you're literally taking away the thing that you, you claim you want to protect life. You're eating it. And if anything, you're eating it in more quantities. When you eat a salad, you know how many, you know how many plants are eating? That's a lot of life you're taking. That's way more than just, if you eat a steak, you're eating like one forty eighth of a life. <laughs> really think about it that way, Everett. If we break it down numerically, you are protecting life by not being vegan. By being vegan, you're you're killing life. Fuck it, Everett. Did I just okay? Like obviously I'm kidding. We're joking. Obviously I'm kidding, but like by that. But from a numerical perspective, yes. Qu- qu- uh, this doesn't make sense, but from a like fractional perspective, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold there's hold a significantly on. larger amount of. Oh. Oh shit! They. Oh fuck! Ah, uh, they got me. I'll be back once. Nah, wasn't for me. Wasn't for me. Wasn't for me. You're going to cut that out. That was really fucking bad. That was really, really cringy. That's staying in. That's staying in. No, that was was fucking bad. That's staying in. That was bad, but... uh, It's staying in. in. I mean, uh, things... The the college episodes are a little more hectic out here. You Uh, don't know what's going on, but... uh, Okay, let's get back onto the topic space. Okay. One thing that I wanted to bring up, Everett, something which i i do not understand at all i want to see if you know if you have any knowledge about this topic of space one of the most common things everyone's heard but i think it's one of the most unknown things yet i feel like we know a lot about it black holes everett w- what do you know about black holes give me your opinion on black holes I'll be honest. I, I kind of just realized like that is a fucking hilarious, hilarious name. Uh, I, I mean, it makes sense. And when you're younger, you don't Wait, think that like, it's what? funny or anything, but like black holes. <laughs> I'm a child. Okay. I, I'm in college. All right. That shit's funny. <laughs> but Everett, it's, like black holes. tell me what your knowledge on black holes well, well first i'll give you my very slim knowledge okay yeah the the one thing i know about black holes is that i think it, it i think we understand it to be in some ways like a a linking device or a teleportation device to another dimension or like a different reality or something i think that's one possible reality i've heard have you never heard of that? No, I, I, I have, but I just, uh, okay, continue. I, I'll be honest. Like my, fuck. I, I, had a, I had a science teacher in high school, physics teacher. And one of his things about black holes is saying, not the big bang, but after the big bang, he says, there's a theory called like the looping looping dimension continuum yeah, some shit that, yeah. where it's uh dimensions you they form out of a black hole like the big bang was us coming out of a black hole and then okay, that's not really what it was yeah but okay but but it, it's just like it's it's like a theory like we have no we have no idea i mean unless you know the answer oh, man, to life because it sounds like you knew shit right there the way you said, no, that's that's not how it works, Grant. It seems like you're fucking PhD, Dr. E over there. Uh, I don't know. You weren't supposed to say anything, man. The FBI is going to come after me. 
So, like, I also don't want the FBI to tap this uh, podcast, but I, I'm just saying, Actually, you know like, what? FBI, tap the podcast. That's extra views. Actually boost That's us, covered. please, FBI. Please report us to the FBI. Holy shit. Do you think people would definitely listen to the pod if TMZ was, like, podcast investigated by FBI, at Waterboy Pod, at Waterboy Pod, at Waterboy Pod. Like, as long as they do at Waterboy Pod three times, then I'd be very cool with it. Yeah. No, Big I, if, though, at TMZ. Or NS, NSA, if the NSA wants to throw one out there for the boys. My agent, my NSA agent is, you know, if you want to throw one out there. Yeah, because you got an NSA agent. But, okay. Uh, no, it's like the black meat. holes. Like, what do you know about it? Like, t- tell me, t- like, I've heard it as it's a potential way to, yeah, like, start so- galaxies or whatever the hell. I don't even know. what What's the bigger term for a galaxy? What's past a galaxy? That's not the biggest. So like, well, so star system. I don't fucking know. No, that's just like a solar system. Um, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure a black hole is an explode, exploding star. I think that's what it's defined as. Um, I haven't read up on my 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 space as of lately. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And it, it basically creates a giant vacuum inside the vacuum that's already space, and it. it and it sucks everything in like it has such a high gravitational pull and the light and everything gets bent inside of it so obviously we don't know what the inside of it actually looks like the theory is that once you go through it you know like it'll warp you and bend you so you can travel through time or go to a different universe whatever i i don't necessarily it could be a time travel thing like i could see that being a thing since it bends this it bends well light. it doesn't necessarily need to be a teleportation device i just sit, my be, physics teacher just right, like let me finish. That, that could you asked me what my opinion was no no i know i was just saying like, like i'm not like, locked in on that opinion the, the, whole, but, the whole the whole like, like the thing is light i want to say i'm not light is how we define time in the universe like the, mm-hmm. yeah speed like, of light yes right yes. so if it bends light that would mean that technically speaking, it could warp time because it's warping light and how yes. we see light. Uh-huh. So theoretically, you could go back. So to- time traveling involves black right. holes. Exactly. Uh. But the other thing is, I don't think that it's like uh. it's like a traveling to other universes kind of thing. I just don't see that being uh, the case. Yeah, I'm not saying this is interstellar. Uh, like we're not getting into a movie review podcast. Yeah. That'll We'll save that when it's uh, Oscar season. But uh <laughs> um but i i also quantum mechanics is more when we do a movie review on this podcast that's gonna be hilarious yeah my my uncle's got a movie coming up oh plug it free plug it plug it right now uh, this could be the ad read this could be this could, this could be our ad read ever actually out right do now. an ad read do an ad read do an ad read right now uh, yeah uh yeah so uh my uncle's movie is called uh orphan uh the first kill um, is this about Shamu? No, it's a no. It's Jesus Christ! Man. Oh, wait, orphan. Oh, 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 I thought it was Orca. Oh, oh shit! Wait, 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 wait. I thought this was gonna be like a nice little benevolent movie. Orphan. What do you mean, first kill? Orphan. It's a prequel. It's a, it's a prequel movie to a horror movie that was made in the two thousands. To what? The orphan. That was with the movie. I don't know what that movie is. I didn't either, but apparently it's like a big horror movie. I thought I I I thought I mistaked an orphan with an orca. An orphan orca. That should be yeah, the next it was big also movie. Not an orca, it was a dolphin. Shamu. Yeah, Shamu the dolphin. What the what was the name of the killer whale? Was it Shamu? I thought Shamu was a dolphin. Was Shamu not the killer whale? Either way, I mean, that was a fucking horrible take by me there. But like, no, Shamu is pretty sure Shamu is the killer whale. Yeah, it is an orca. Pretty sure. Yeah. No, that's at least I got that part right. Oh my god! I went like one for eight there. Well, also that was pretty heinous. Orphan first killing the first thing that you go to is Shamu. Well, I just thought, you thought orphan. You Shamu said orphan killing. killing, and I was like, but but you Sha- know didn't Shamu kill people? But Shamu also was like an orphan. But Shamu killed people. Shamu was also a lonely orphan. I thought person. Shamu was like the original Harambe, and they like assassinated. I thought they put Shamu down like Harambe. Wait, was Shamu not Harambe like 1.0? <laughs> 
And I thought I fully thought they killed Shamu because it killed people. <laughs> Didn't Shamu like rape its trainer whoa, or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. I swear, Shamu did some shady shit. We gotta look into the file of Shamu. All right, hold on. Shamu hold needs on, to be investigated. On. We're investigating this right now. Hold on. All right, Shamu. Well, first, off, first off, I thought Shamu was also considered an orphaned whale. Like it was alone and it, it like killed itself from being alone. Um, <laughs> Okay, all right. So, Sham- I, I thought Shamu did some some some, some murky Shamu, shit. Shamu was captured when it was very young, uh, off of Puget Sound in Washington. It was then sold to SeaWorld uh, in 1965. Uh, he was retired. Shamu was retired from performing after an incident on April 19th, 1971. Ironically, a day before 4:20, in which. Shamu, a she, bit the legs and hips of Anne Eckes, a SeaWorld employee who was told to ride her as part of a filmed publicity event and refused uh, to release the woman until other workers came to the rescue and pried the whale's jaws apart with a pole. They needed a fucking yeah, pole to uh, pry Shamu's fucking jaws apart, okay? I want to say Shamu's is- a, a killer whale. It did also. She's a killer state, queen. It does also state that uh, Shamu was trained to uh, only perform with trainers who wore like wetsuits, and that it would attack people who didn't wear wetsuits. Like nor- when they wore normal bathing suits, it would attack them. So I don't know. Like it sounds like it's on. Oh, Sea World. Like that. That's on Sea World. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. Shamu's fucking batshit crazy. Shamu my died. my take uh, stands when you said yeah, orphan yeah. kill that lines up shamu's an orphan i thought what's the most famous orphan shamu the whale of course so I if they shamu was a movie. sad story i thought shamu died from like loneliness and captivity it was so i i i'm i thought shamu was harambe 1.0 <laughs> could be could be wrong on that might be wrong on that one but fuck it we'll count that that counts. Well, they put Shamu down. They killed you know Shamu. What? With, with Shamu. We ought to investigate that. How did Shamu <laughs> mysteriously die four months there afterwards? There was a Harambe before Harambe, though. Who, what, Where what? did Shamu go four months afterwards? It's not like they, they kept her in a fucking tank. That'd be expensive as fuck just to keep a little orca. Uh, not little. Shamu was big as fuck. But to keep an orca whale in a tank just swimming around, not on exhibit, why would you... Why would you keep that? I, I'm thinking financially, monetarily. Why Why would you just encapture an orca whale not on display when you could be profiting off it, Everett? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you're thinking about something else. Uh, let, let's, let's talk about something else. I was, I'm not going to lie. I was in the midst of looking up uh, what Harambe before Harambe was, and I couldn't find it, but I remember there being something. I think uh, I think I'm gonna transition us into sports? into one sports topic. We can jump immediately out of it, but uh, this is a <laughs> slight <laughs> NBA minute. Uh, there was a rumor going around that um, Magic Johnson donated blood. Yes, that's right. HIV positive. <laughs> HIV Aladdin Magic Johnson donating blood. That I is see, right. I think I see a tweet that says Magic Johnson donated blood at least once a year. Like it's an annual festivity that I see. So, every- but well, he publicly respond and by he his I don't even know who's the guy tweeting these out. His intern, probably. I don't know assistant. Whoever whoever handles Magic's Twitter. I don't have um, the power of. They had to tweet out. <laughs> on magic johnson's twitter account like you get it you just run it like you get it and also like whoever is writing those tweets they got to be trolling a little bit at heart too because it's like they're speaking in like the tone of magic johnson and you know magic like magic is like came out and said like he doesn't write his tweet yeah so like someone's doing it and they are just so like you're sitting there reading and you're just like jesus christ like who wrote these like it, it, it's just good content but i mean yeah there's a rumor going around that he donated his his aids blood uh, well so yeah that was going around uh that got debunked quickly if 
Yeah, Magic was donating uh, his AIDS blood. That would um, uh, th- that be l- that be uh, it. Could be problematic for sure. Definitely uh, something that could stir up the pot. Uh, well, fun fact, by the way, you do know that even after you like, if you pass all the tests and you get your blood drawn before uh, they actually use your blood, I'm pretty sure they do another test on the blood to see if there are any pathogens or hiv or aids or any bloodborne diseases in there that's after everything too yeah that's yeah yeah all right i'm getting kind of bored of sports talk let's go back to space two oceans now okay actually shit i got a lot of i got a lot of things about the ocean okay first things first so it is wait 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 i have i have just a I have two two sports things before we go to the oceans. Oh, fine. I know. I know. I was uh, gonna talk about the Dodgers today, but we are saving that. <laughs> Walker Bueller got Tommy John today. That fucking sucks, but I mean, I mean well, actually, no. Ah shit. I- I'm gonna get into this right now. God damn it. Podcast, we- okay. Walker Bueller getting Tommy John surgery. I was saying all year, shut him down this year, shut him down. Let's not worry about it. I have a feeling they shut him down a little too late, and he's probably not going to come back till 2024. Like, he's not going to play next season based on the timing right now of when he's getting his surgery. So he's gonna... not going to be back till 2024. Uh, yeah, Tommy John's a really long rehab period. So, if they pulled the trigger on this a little earlier, I'm not sure if he, it would have been smart to bring him back late 2023, but like he's not going to pitch till 2024. I didn't think that it was it was Tommy John that he needed though. I like that, I don't think so. That was- I I had a theory. I, I I said this on the pod like weeks months ago. That right forearm injury that's a precursor to like elbow shit. So like he's 28 when he pitches next time for the Dodgers. He's going to be 30. Walker so. is 28. Yeah, next time Walker pitches for the Dodgers, he'll be 30 years old, which, holy fuck, that is sinking in for me right now. Jesus Christ. It's Pepe. Wow. Bobby Miller. That is fucking, actually, Jesus. Julio Urias, you're my guy now. You're my fucking guy because Walker essentially might have just died. Walker Bueller might be dead. Like, okay, this is actually, this has now become a Dodger podcast uh, for the rest of the show. For this season, they got to win this year because next season, Clayton will not be Clay- – and I'm not even sure if Kershaw will be on the team next year. So, so, okay, he's not going to retire. Like, he can they still win, make right, bank they, going to, like, the Rangers. If the Dodgers win the chip, I think he should retire. He's not going to retire. He can make so much money ever. Like, that, like that's what you got to think about. And the Rangers will sign him to, like, 20 a year. And we'll just go to the Rangers. He wants to live in Texas anyway. That's where he's from. That's where he lives in the summer. Like he's, he is all about, te- or not in the summer, like in the off season. Right. I think his kids go to school in Texas. Like, cause the, the school year is the off season for baseball, you know, yeah, like, which is funny, but uh, yeah. Like I'm not sure if Kershaw will be on the Dodgers next year, which is crazy to think, but in terms of the starters next year, let's say Kirsch is out. Are we positive that Gonsolin, T. Anderson, Heaney, Julio, fuck yeah. But are we sure about Gonzo, T. Anderson, Heaney, those boys? Like, we'll start. Who? Pepio. He could potentially get called up, but re- fuck Bobby that. Boy. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. But like, they, they, they're probably not ready to go. But like, they don't have a. They don't have a scary starter, which the Dodgers have kind of been known to have in the past year. Like when Dodgers have made the play, okay, when they won in 2020, scary pitching. All right. Kershaw was actually dealing. Walker actually wasn't phenomenal, but Julio was disgusting as shit. So the, the starters were just going out and lighting it the fuck up. Kenley was, I, they had guys, I, I, I'm, I'm blanking on exact names out of the pen right now, but. When the Dodgers won that ship, this is what it really came down to, okay? One through four shit the bed per usual, like fucking always. Dodgers can't get good one through four hitters, except this year, 
if the one through four hitters don't hit, oh, this team's getting swept round one. I'm going I'm to say it right now. The one through four is the team. Like, that's my concern. In past years, the Dodgers, the five through eight, it was eight. Now it's five through nine because there's a DH. But it used to be five through eight would just fucking pick it the fuck up. Kike hitting fucking bombs. Jock hitting bombs. Chris Taylor hitting bo- – like, guys at the end of the lineup, belly at the end of the lineup, near the end a little bit. Like, dudes at the end of the lineup, Pollock. Just guys just going nuclear at the end of the lineup when you need it. But this year for the Dodgers, like, they, they are performing right now. But, I mean, Lux got, Lux got scratched today. We'll see how healthy he is. Like, Taylor's been pretty ass since he came back. Belly is hit or miss. Sometimes hot, sometimes cold. Taylor red hot, though. Some boys have been on fire, and I love it. Like, Trace, so, like Muncy. Trace, Trace Max Muncy is a threat. Trace is a killer. Trace needs to play more often. And I understand, like, they only want him to play against lefties because he's a righty, but I don't give a fuck about him against righties, okay? If you're hitting, you're playing, okay? We can't just be throwing, like, Gallo's also been playing better with the Dodgers. Still not, still not, like, great, but, like, he's been playing better on the Dodgers than with the Yankees, yes. But, I mean, I need guys hit that end of the lineup, like, you need guys producing at that. Like, that's how you win. Like, to win a World Series, your one through four needs to be hitting. That just needs to happen. To get over the edge, that five through nine now needs to be putting you over the top. That's what it really comes down to. The starting pitching and the pitching is just a given. Without the pitching and the one through four in the lineup, you're not winning no matter what. The difference is the five through nine. Like, that's what really makes the difference between these teams. Let's call up James Altman again and put him in there. Fuck it. I'll take Altman. I'll take – I will take uh, uh, Vargas, uh, like, any of those guys. And they all came up and they were balling. So, like, as long as you're getting on base, let's go full Billy Bean money ball. If you get on base, you're on the team. All right. Um. Does Craig Kimbrell get negative points in that scenario? Yeah, so Craig Kimbrell, like I like now they're now I'm pretty sure they announced like they're not making him like the full-time closer or something. I wouldn't be doing that. What do you mean? You want him to continue as no, the full-time no, like, closer? I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be having him be the full-time closer. No, yeah, I like I could be wrong. I might be mixing these. I actually I don't think that's true. Damn. But We'll, 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 we'll see. Like if, if Craig has to close a meaningful game, must win game, like it's not going to go well, but it's also baseball. It would be very baseball if he were to go up in the biggest moment of his life this season. And then just one, two, three in it like that. That's just baseball. Like, you know, I, like I, I'm a Dodger fan. I'm just kind of convinced myself that might happen. Probably won't, but I mean, I can believe I can believe. I could believe, but uh, yeah, that's, that, that's my, that's my Dodger. That's my Dodger. Man. Walker Bueller, Tommy John. I'm concerned next season about the starting pitching. That is a, that is a concern. Now Walker, Walker was like the key, like Walker. God damn. That hurts. That fucking hurts. Yeah. If they had Walker Bueller this year. Woo. God damn. God damn if they had Walker this year. Um holy shit. Did you see this this a boy can dream? Did you see this post by Barstool Sports that was talking about how uh two Oakland A's fans were uh yeah, they were fucking business. in the state. Okay, so so um follow up. Apparently the Oakland A's have set up security guards like in the top row for each like individual section to monitor nefarious activities Dude, if, if, going on in the left field pavilion the at the Oakland A stadium. You should just market off of that. Like nobody's coming to your games to begin with. Like, why don't you just build off of that publicity? Be like, you know what? No, no, no. I, I think, and also I think by adding the security guards, it makes it a little more challenging. I think it adds that's, that's extra cool. element. I think it like, makes uh, people a little more enticed like to go and fuck in the Oakland A's uh, left field pavilion. It's like an escape room. I also got to piss right now. That that was the break. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so mark that time. All right. Okay, it's uh, currently uh, 10.26 p.m. as I'm recording this, so we'll see how long it takes him to pee. All right, uh, story time. So 
Yeah, honestly, I, I don't really have a story prepared. So I, I got to think. Oh, yeah, here, I, I've got one. Um, so when we were in high school, um, we were some weird kids. And Grant and our other friend, his name, uh, his name's, call him uh, Connie, okay? Uh, we, uh, we were just, you know, I had him at my, my house out in uh, Minnesota, and we, we had a lake day. And uh, while we were on the lake, the, uh, the boat broke down. And uh, here you can you can hear the rest of the story. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear me, but the uh, the boat. Broke. I just thought to myself how funny it's going to be when you're editing clips and you're like, huh? Let me think of visuals to get for um the Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, how are we going to fit yeah. this into a TikTok? Let me let me uh, let me finish my story. You can listen. So yeah, we were we were on the lake and Our tea, man. And uh, oh, is this story when I shit my pants on the lake? No, no, this is. Oh save that one for later yeah um but the boat broke down and we were going inner tubing that day so we were just like you know what we'll just we'll just coast back to, to the house on uh, on the tube so me grant and connie hop on the tube and you know it's it's a decent swim like it's probably a couple oh, you're name times. dropping connie like that very late reaction out of me but holy and, shit um we're just so, giving him free credit like that. Connie, Connie and I are in the water. Uh, we're we're pushing and 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 Grant's, you know, he's like, yeah, like I'll hop in a second. Grant did not hop in the water that entire time. Grant, in fact, stayed on top of the tube and aggressively rubbed his nipples the entire way back to the house. Now, now some may say this story is exaggerated. Not one bit was fabricated. All true. The one thing you left out of the story, though was uh connie constantly uh complaining like grant help us fucking get back to shore and me just saying nah fam my nips are chafed i need to go and deal with this right now <laughs> so i had priorities at hand connor clearly didn't fucking understand that when we got back to shore the best part is your dad was i mean he was like i mean yeah i mean grant he had stuff to deal with connor so i mean like, like what you got to paddle them back. What do you want them to do? And then, and then, of course, TG is just like, Jesus Christ, Grant, fucking help out. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sitting there like, yeah, I don't really care. Uh, and then, and then, like, you know, KG is just over there, just like, yeah. Oh, boys. KG's probably sitting on the boat like, uh, with a JH, just like, ah, is the Wi Fi working at least? <laughs> <laughs> like, is do we still get cell service out here? <laughs> uh, yeah, Both times, but uh, you know what? Do you got do you got any other sports? I think I think we've hit our uh, hour yeah, time. I do, I do and... have one, I do have one or two things one college football, one NFL, real quick. Um, college football, yeah, I got one college football thing, which is funny. Which best, is. best college football teams against the spread at home since 2018 there are these are the top four teams all right i want your reactions number four georgia southern 16 and 8 three texas a&m 17 and 8 cincinnati 2 17 and 8 your tulane green wave number one at home at 16 and 6 so what what is this 16 and six like spread at Against covering the, the spread? spread teams at home since 2018? Damn, so Tulane is a spread. So okay, are you did you just secretly rat out that that someone in the Tulane coaching staff is monitoring that spread and they are keeping very close uh, attention was- to that spread? was from bet stats and then it's a barstool sports thing so someone at barstool is so are you telling me that coach fritz is a spread guru a spread god and i'm not trying to criticize him i'm trying to point something out to some betters well, in america well, right now is- we might have just we might have just pointed out a man who who cares he does care 
a okay. man who cares he brought two about minutes. that spread. We might have just found a man who cares. And maybe we can also give some credit to the Tulane student section because these are home games. We are going to factor in that home element, a little home element, getting that spread involved. But I, I want, this is your homework for the week. I need you to find out which players on the team are aware of the spread or not. Which play like because because at the end of the day that's what it really comes. If the players are aware, then like okay, then it's different. Like if the quarterback knows what the spread is, yeah. Hold on, I feel I, a little I, bit I, better I, betting. I feel a little bit better betting. I my a, QB I have knows. Second, I have a secondary story. To, not you get secondary. I mean? No, do you, like do, no, I do got you. you. I got you. Uh, I I I'll, I'll see what I can manage. Although I I cannot do certain things as per um. No, you're gonna do that. Illegal about that. Um, I got one, I got one last thing. It's a little show and tell and we can wrap with this part of the episode. The other thing I had to say was that Aaron Rodgers took out, uh, Romeo dupes to, to, to dinner. So, uh, watch out for him fantasy, but this is the other thing that I had on the day today. So, uh, we went to, uh, the Superdome today and, uh, I was cleaning up towels, uh, you know, as Waterboy does. And uh, I realized when I got back that uh, I had accidentally or we had accidentally thrown uh, this towel in with the uh, the rest of the bunch. Um, I would like to believe that Jameis Winston himself touched this. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Holy shit, Everett. Whose is that? Is that is that Olave's? I, I think maybe is that Jam- Mikey T's. Jameis Winston's nuts might have touched this towel. They might be. Okay, blown. now you made it weird, but okay. Well, hey, hey, it, I could be talking about footballs here. You never know. Some people might call football nuts. True. So what I actually found really interesting is, one, there's Velcro on the back of this. It's Velcro. Here. That's, that's, well, yes. No, I know. Towel. But, yeah, yeah we, we don't have, we don't have nice towels like that. That's, that's why I find it interesting. Um, You're telling me you don't have that at Tulane? Get the fuck out. Yes, you do. No, we, we don't have Velcro. Yes, you do, Everett. Velcro, right? Yes, you do. I can guarantee if your quarterback, Pratt, if that dude wanted to wear a towel, I don't know if he does, I can guarantee you there's fucking Velcro on it so it goes around his belt. I can guarantee it. Guarantee it. Any towels I've given out don't have Velcro on it. Uh, but the other thing is... Your that- towel doesn't, Everett, because you're a fucking satchel day. water boy. <laughs> the game day towels that we hand out. That I get out, don't have Elker on them. Satchel water boy, you don't get that. You don't get that. All right. I put them out. I say I I repped one of those in fucking high school, dude. Like the, like yes, you do. Yes, you. It, do. it also folds out like this. Look at this. Like it folds I, out. Every, I love how you're amazed by this. I don't I'm, think you've I've ever seen, seen an actual NFL regulation towel before. And what all the the fuck I do you mean NFL regulation? Nike yeah. makes those same. Th- I literally have yeah. that exact same thing, just with a Nike logo on it instead of NFL. All the logo. towels that we use are Powerade, and Powerade doesn't make that. Well, I think it's. I think the reason is. <laughs> okay, in game, are you? T- okay, I'm gonna look at the picture right now. What's the Michael Pratt? Is that his name? Mm. He definitely wears a towel. Yeah, he does. He does. It look right now. If it would have Velcro, on, you just look. First picture of Michael Pratt. Second one. I'm telling you, dude. I've just never seen Velcro. Really doing the deep dive over there. I, the end of the towel looks like the classic Velcro NFL towel that you're showing me, but there is a chance that it isn't. I, I'm not gonna. I'm. I'll give you. I'll give you the benefit of the. I'll. There is a chance that he is just wearing a loose towel in there. I can't determine from my eyes that it is a Velcro. <laughs> Okay. All right. I got a pretty solid picture showing that it is a Velcro towel. A pretty good evidence. But okay, fuck it. Whatever. We're done with that. Okay. Well, uh, I think we're going to wrap up the episode now. All right. 
yeah, I would say a pretty eventful episode today. Um, really got a deep dive. So either this episode does numbies numbies or it's the worst one yet. And I kind of have a feeling it will probably be in the middle somewhere. <laughs> like it will be the same as always. Yeah, pro- probably just be like a standard normal episode. Um, Dodgers, are up, Dodgers are up six to zero, uh, taking revenge on the Brewers tonight, as we like to see. And with that, we're going to close out the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, listening. Please subscribe, like, rate, five stars. Throw out like- the podcast, download the podcast, subscribe, rate us five stars, like it, listen to the whole thing, and then listen to it again. If you got listen to it when you walk your dog, listen to it when you walk your cat, listen to to it when you feed your dog listen to it when you do your homework if you got a bladder like grants you can watch or listen to a snippet of it every single time you go to the bathroom sauce 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 hey i love you man all right thank you guys so much for listening and watching and with that water boys out